message of our text tonight Jesus as you are aware now through the reading of this text has been performing miracles somebody say miracles he has been teaching the disciples sharing the understanding of the knowledge of God and he's offered insight and personal analysis that he's on the outskirts tell somebody he's on the outskirts he, he pauses while he's on the outskirts to teach a lesson concerning persistence, the understanding of mercy, and he ends with a story about a rich young ruler. When you go back and read the chapter before, in response to a man who asks a question about eternal life, and right as he attempts to continue the journey, his attention is arrested by a man whose mere desire is to see again and as he tries to continue the journey without interruption the text shares that the man hollers and screams at the top of his lungs and when I read these parables in a consistent manner with intentional focus when I look back to what led up to this text I realized that each one of them the people involved within them had the audacity and the nerve to do whatever it took to get the attention of God the widow in chapter 18 keeps going back to the judge regardless of the embarrassment to receive the justice of God. The tax collector in the same chapter hid his face and did whatever it took to receive mercy from God. The young ruler had to realize that he would have to do whatever it took to get the acceptance into the kingdom of God and the blind man just hollered to receive healing from the hand of God which means that sometimes you gotta do whatever it takes to get the attention of God. It's why I don't understand how people can come to church and sit up and look mean and surly when the Lord has something in store for you. Sometimes you got to holler. Sometimes you got to wave your hand. Sometimes you got to stand on your feet. Sometimes you got to click up your heels because when the Lord has been good to you you don't care who's looking at you you don't care who's talking about you you've got to give God the glory wave your hand click up your heels give God the glory ain't he worthy if he's worthy say yeah oh yeah 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 you 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 gotta do you gotta do. I just want to see his face. I just want to see his glory. I just want to give him the praise. Ask your neighbor, neighbor, what did you come for? Neighbor, what did you show up for tonight? I came to see Jesus. I came to give God the glory. I came to lift him up. And if he never does anything else, he's already God enough. I can praise him for what is John. I can praise him for what he's weighed. I can praise him for how he's blessed him. I don't need another blessing. I can lift my hands and give him the glory because he's worthy. He's worthy. I just, I just want to see Jesus. Because when you see him, you can't help but lift your hands. When you see him, you can't help but get excited. When you see him, you can't help but say, thank you, Lord. When you see him, there's something on the inside, working on the outside, that brought about a change in your life. You used to drop it in the club, but when you see him, you got to put a dance on the floor. I wonder, is there anybody here that don't mind getting on the floor and giving God the glory? If he's been good to you, get on the floor. If he bless you, Get on the floor, give him the glory, say yeah, come on somebody, say yeah, come on one more time, say yeah, tell your neighbor, get on the floor.